The School of Medicine was established six years ago with the intention to resolve the shortage of medical doctors in Namibia. The school was supposed to produce its first medical doctors last year, but this was postponed following the Health Professional Council of Namibia's quality inspection, which found that the school did not meet some of the requirements. Some of the recommendations made were that students studying Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery should graduate after spending at least six years in college than the initial five years. There was also a question of accreditation. We've uh, addressed them as quickly as we could within uh, the limited resources that we have. And so far, the Health Professionals Council has approved our doctors. They are in now for uh, uh, professional, uh, I mean, they did their professional internship and they're currently practicing their two-year interns as medical officers. Another challenge was the lack of enough lecturers, but this too has been resolved. And now that all that is out of the way, the 35 students are finally graduating. His years of study have been challenging, but Andre Diacher has no doubt about the quality education he received. It leaves you well equipped to deal with medical scenarios, or any clinical scenario for that matter, in most departments of medicine. Albeit that uh, internal medicine, surgery, pediatrics, with whatever you are faced, you need to basically deal with. You need to be competent, and I do think that we've been availed with that skill set. One of the toughest and most feared lectures took place in the dissecting room of cadavers. But like any good doctor, this is a task Rachel Haludilu has quickly learned to accept. So I was in for say scared. I just looked forward to dissecting. I looked forward to finding out what was inside the human body. And I think it was one of the best, best experiences. Diakhir wants to specialize in radiology, while Haludilu opted for neurology.